You may have looked at other systems like Logseq, Obsidian or Roam and want something similar, but keep all your data in Notion. In this video, I'm showing the system I made that allows you to do freeform writing, linking those notes to topics and then using those thought bubbles you made to turn that into solid information. Let's get started. I already had a system called my logbook that I used to capture everything that was happening throughout the day. But I started to notice that it was all work and no play. I was missing the paper notebook that I used to have where I could just write down everything and also add some weird thoughts that I had throughout the day or get things out of my head or even write down how I was feeling just to process a couple of things. And that to me at least was also beneficial to my health because anything that was bothering me, writing it down just feels right. Now, of course there's a template you can use, but let's first dive into what I was trying to achieve with this setup. Now, I mostly made this system because I was researching LogSeq and I found out there's a couple of goals that I wanted to achieve. First of all, I wanted a clean daily page. I like the clean page because even if yesterday was terrible, the next day you get like this nice clean sheet of paper and you can get started on a new day. The second goal I had is that I didn't want to think about where I would put the topics. Because one of the things I like about Notion is that it allows me to organize everything. And one of the things I hate about Notion is that I'm constantly organizing everything. Which, you know, is something I wanted to work on. And finally, I wanted to find back the notes using the backlinks. So when I make a topic and I make multiple notes to it, I want to be able to go back to that topic and then see all the things that I've written down about sad topic over the last weeks or maybe even decades, depending on how long you use Notion. So the system is set up with two elements. Now, the first element is a master tag database. And what that mostly means is that you have a table with names in it that you use to reference towards it. So then we get to the journal database. And in essence, it's just a table with a date field in it. But I'll show a few creative ways on how I use that to extend it to log other things than just my daily notes. So let's have a look at it. If you go to the main view that I've set up, then you see the daily journal, which is a linked database and it's filtered for today. And by filtering it for today, I can just click on the new button and it will automatically fill in the date for me. Now I need to be creative about a title, but usually I just start with putting the date in because that's easy and it's early in the morning when I'm making these, so I don't want to think about it too much. And then I created a couple of templates to get me started. Today I'm having a YouTube day, so I'm going to pick that one, but I also got one for work and weekend. And these templates don't really branch off much, they have like the same basic structure but they get a different icon and it allows me to look at the calendar view and to see what kind of day I had and maybe observe some correlations. So let's pick YouTube day and then it fills in a couple of fields for me. Let's open it as a page so everybody can see it. It adds an icon to it. I can set the mood. So I'm gonna go for happy because I'm always happy when I'm making videos. And then I've set up a very, very simple setup. And this is by design because I want this clean slate feeling. If I put too much in here, that clean feeling goes away. So then I type in things like, for example, how was your morning? And then I go like, like you know, slept okay. So those are the things that I use to really like get my day started, get the first few words out. There are a bit of hints, but most of the day I use the journal field and I just use outlines. So I can type in making a video right now. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to hook it up to topics. So I do the double bracket thing and then go like, I'm making a topic for YouTube. And then it needs to search for a bit. And this is one of the things I dislike about using this in Notion. Notion isn't as fast as other tools, but they are improving the database today. So let's hope it gets better. And I pick one from my tags database. It could also be that I have something where I don't have a tag for, and then I need to be able to add it. So how do I do that? Quick demo on adding a, I'm gonna call this fresh. I'm gonna make a fresh tag. And I'm gonna make it as a page in, and then I'm gonna go tag. Should be able to find the tags database. There it is. And hit that one. And then it makes an entry in my tags database and links to that. And then later on, I can keep using it because if I have like another one, another entry for my fresh. And then again, we wait for a little bit. And there you have the tag. So I hit enter and I get to this fresh setup. And that's basically how I add day. So I just type in, I use toggle so I can close things that I'm done with so it doesn't get too long. And I just type away, add things, any mood that strikes me, any faults that are made. I can make sub pages, of course, it's still Notion. So if you have like a meeting, you wanna really keep it separate, 
you can do so, or you can even make it in a specific database that you have. Now, before I talk about how you can use that data, I want to do a quick ask, and that is I'm setting up a mailing list. And you might be thinking, a mailing list, that's a bit boring, and you would be right. But the goal of the mailing list is mostly to help you. I want to send out one email per new video that I bring out that has the link to the video, obviously, but also the highlights, links to templates, any of the key things that you would need to know, allowing you to watch my videos in the train or sitting down on the couch, not having to take notes, knowing that when you get to your laptop or computer, you can just check your inbox and have all the relevant information in there. You've journaled for a while and you've got all these links. How do you use that information to get some results? And the way I do that is I go to the tax database and I've set up a small example in the form of this Notion tag. I open the tag and you can see here that there's free backlinks. And the trick here is to be in a browser. So when you're in a browser, you can press the control key and then click on the links to open them in the background. Be sure to tap them because Notion pulls a sneaky on you and doesn't really load the page until you click on it. So once it's loaded, you drag the first page or whatever page you're gonna to use to collect your thoughts loose from the browser. And I'm gonna move them side by side and that way i can make notes to the left and then read whatever i've written down on the right so i'm gonna go to the left here and i'm gonna go like uh, what did i write down about notion and then on this side i can see that one of my backlinks i mentioned we need more cats so then i can just type in more cats and then i'll quickly go through the rest of the notes so as you can see it's not as quick as some of the other tools that show this on the side, but this works pretty well. If you've got just a couple of notes, it's a bit of searching, but it still allows you to quickly get to your notes. Now, one thing Notion is very good in is if you have this daily log that you're doing is you can add properties to start tracking things that you want to see over time. In my example, I put up a mood. So I added a select property and made a mood by adding smileys to it. And the example that I've got here, I've got like a happy smiley, I've got a sleepy smiley, and I've got a sick smiley. But you can of course add as many emojis as you would like, or maybe even use words, it depends a bit on your workflow. And then I gave them a color, so you can go over here and pick a color on the side. And I said like stuff that I'm feeling good, like happy is green and stuff that I'm feeling bad is red. And the reason I'm doing that is that if you start keeping track of that, so when I'm in the calendar view, you can see by the color how the day's been. So you can see like this was good and this was a bit bad. Here I was a bit sleepy. It's a simple solution. And I'm sure you can come up with other ways to use this setup to record stuff. I mean, in this case I'm using mood and I'm using emojis for it, but you can also track like how did your goals go that day. If you're tracking something like how far you've run, you can put it in there. Whatever information you wanna track on a daily basis is very easy to add to this journal and then later to look up. As always, there's a link to the template in the description. You can duplicate that to quickly get going. Now I'm too lazy this week to pick a video for you to watch after this. So hopefully YouTube made some awesome picks on the side here. Be sure to click that to keep watching. And now if you didn't yet, you hit that subscribe button. I keep making videos. You're awesome. Keep it up.